welcome to our channel, Good Godwins Let's Eat. We are starting our series called, What Are You Bringing to the Covered Dish? Today, I'm with my cousin Christy, and she is gonna start off our video by telling us what she's bringing to the covered dish. We like to bring something called chicken casserole, which is um, chicken and rice mixed together in one pot and cooked at one time. Makes it quick and easy, and once it's out of the oven, you can wrap it up and take it as you go. Yeah, and it's really a lot of food. Yes. Yes. So, you guys, if you read my first blog post, um, you know that we go to Cora Baptist Church, and at Cora Baptist Church, um, we like to have covered dish, especially at any Baptist church. Um, but we love covered dish, and so let's get started, and we're going to show you how to make it. Okay, so tell us everything we need to make this dish. Okay, what we are making is chicken and rice casserole. So first you will need four cups of chicken broth. Then you'll need two cans of cream of mushroom, two cans of cream of chicken. You will need two to three chicken breasts cut in strips. You will need um, four cups of rice, a whisk, a spoon, and salt, pepper. I use garlic salt and just whatever seasonings you would like to add to it. Okay. And of course, whatever dish you're gonna put it in to take it to the covered dish. Yes. Okay. So what do we do first? Okay, first you put in the liquid. Second, you put in all of the cream of chicken and cream of mushrooms. Now for some Southern people who may not be Southern and mix everything in the same dish like we do, could you totally do this in a bowl you or a mixer and then just pour yes. it all in there? Yes, if you're but, gonna do a large quantity, I would suggest putting it in a bowl and then mixing it. Yeah, but I'm like you and I'm I'm, I'm all there. about, let's not dirty another dish if no. we can mix it in the pan. Yes. You just mix it all together, get the soups really mixed in with the chicken noodle so it's spread around evenly. Next step, you are going to add the salt and pepper and garlic salt or whatever seasons you choose. And this is to your liking. So you mix it in. So you can put whatever. You can put whatever you like. Um, my go-to, I do a little zataran, I do a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, garlic salt, depending on your liking. Um, oh, but you can really good. easily throw in some Italian season. Mm -hmm. You can throw in anything you really like, depending on your choice of spices. Yeah, but we're big garlic eaters in our family. Yes. So we love garlic everything. All right. So you make sure that's mixed in really well. Then you add the rice. Mix it in. And this is uncooked rice. All is uncooked minute rice. It's just the, um, you mix it in and it's all going to bake together all at one time. So you don't have to cook anything ahead of time. Yeah. And, but it's important to use minute rice. Yes. The minute because rice is, it, it cooks quicker. Right. And um, as you're using it, this dish is, this dish in the oven only takes about 45 minutes. So if you want to use jasmine rice or regular white grain rice, it will take longer in the oven than what our recipe calls for today. Right. Okay. I like minute rice. I love minute rice. <laughs> cooks quick, easy, and tastes really good. Okay. So it's really done real quick. So now you move to the chicken. Again, I like to t put mine in strips to make sure that my chicken is evenly done. If you have big pieces of chicken compared to little, sometimes the chicken won't get done as quickly as the yellow. Right. Now you you bought chicken breasts and cut them. Could you talk, yes. could you use strips that are you already could, cut? Yes. You could do Probably chicken tender two strips. Packs. Yeah. You could do chicken tender strips. You can do the chicken breast. You can leave the chicken breast whole if you prefer for it to be whole. My preference, I like to cut it to make sure everything is done. So it's just up to you. Okay. So basically you'll take the chicken and you'll lay it on top. It's okay if it touches. As it cooks, it's kind of going to soak down into the, the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom so it's not dried out as you cook. Just put it all around. Okay, it's on there really good. Now you take whatever spices again. I do have a little bit of um, Italian herbs that goes on top of this as well. I just mix all my spices together and sprinkle on the top. 
some likes more spice, then add more to it. If you don't like a lot, then you don't have to put near as much. Now, is this something you bring to cover dish a lot? Yes. Um, this is actually what we take every time we go to church. This is one of my go-to staples for cover dish. Um, it's really good once you get it cooked. It stays well together. It stays warm when you seal it. And this is a lot. This is a big it, pan. It makes It doesn't lot. look like it's going to be a lot, but it, that makes it's a big a pan of and food. And when it, as it cooks, the rice again swells. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going to be more than what you even see here. Yeah. And as the chicken, you can even cut the chicken more. If you're serving a bigger group, the rice does pretty well. And if you want to cut the chicken, the yeah, chicken smaller. tenders in half and smaller, mm -hmm. you know, we're not serving that many tonight, but for a potluck, at church or somewhere you might want yeah. to actually cut them the strips even yeah but you cook this at home too yes, yes and how many you have in your house we have five five and, and this you is, have two teenage boys yes so this feeds this feeds probably about ten. <laughs> oh, yes ten yes yes all right so now what we're going to do um the oven is set to 375 and we're going to pop it in for 45 minutes okay sounds good okay so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven and we're going to have a taste all right chicken oh it's really hot it is very hot but it looks really good and it smells really good it's a shame you guys cannot smell this because it smells so good okay here's yours let me get a fork now we're gonna get mine really hot too we're gonna wear them out if you're doing this at home you can also throw some extra sides in some green beans Oh yeah. Make now, a full meal. do you think you could put cheese on top of this? Because I, I feel Absolutely. like we could really put cheese on top of this. Absolutely. And, However, or in the rice. I live in a house that we have one that doesn't like cheese. Oh, that's right. So that's why I do not. But yes, this yeah. would be amazing with cheese. See, and well. I live in a house where everybody eats all the cheese all the time. Yes. So cheese would be really good in our house. It's hot. It is really hot. I'm scared, I'm scared about it. Mm. Chicken mm, is very nice. good. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Very good. With all the juices mixed in, mm -hmm. the chicken does not dry out on top. No, and the rice is so soft. It's really good. And it has a lot of flavor. And oh. it was just a few ingredients, too, yep. which was nice. And it's not something that's going to break the bank, especially these days. Mm -hmm. With the prices yeah. going up, you can make a lot with just a little. Yeah, and this is a lot. Yeah. So, next covered dish, chicken and rice casserole. Good Godwin's Let's Eat rating 10 out of 10. Awesome. awesome. Well, thanks for filming a segment with me today. It was You're a lot welcome. of fun. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just for the record, which church has the best cooks? Cora Baptist Church. Okay, thank you. You heard it here first, folks. Yep. Make sure if you like this video um, to like our video and subscribe to our channel um, so you won't miss um, any more of our cooking videos. Okay, thanks. See you next time.